Uh, good morning, Molly Dussel Senior checking in. Well, it's not Wednesday, it's actually Tuesday. But uh, I thought I would try something today. Uh, with a little bit of Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. Today I'm going to try to make something add to the Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. One banana, ripe banana. And what I'm going to do is, whoa, there he's filling his stuff. Just mash it up in a bowl. I've seen folks make recipes with bananas before, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting to see what happens. This may end up, as they say, on the cutting room floor, depending on what the end result is. But anywho, I'm mushing up the, the banana, getting that nice and smushed. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So I am going to add the egg to this. Right now, which according to the Jiffy box, you're supposed to use an egg. And my hands are sticky already, so I'm gonna step by and out of the way for a second. And then drop back in. So I'm going to mush that egg up a little bit. Mix it in. Okay. Okay, I got batteries that are kind of weak on my camera here, so I'm going to keep an eye on the, on the red eye. Okay, so we have the banana in there. And it says it calls for a third of a cup of milk, but I am going to Start with a quarter cup because I have a feeling that uh, that banana is going to add some liquid and we don't want too much liquid. All right, so we have all these goodies mixed in. I shall add the Jiffy Mix. Yeah, look at there we are. Get that all mixed in nicely. I need more, I can always add more liquid. Alright, we're still going strong so far on the camera. Uh, things are mixing pretty good here. I might go to a, my whisk, kind of like a whisk, it seems to do a pretty good job. But this may do it. All right, so we have all the, the ingredients in except for one left, an ingredient left to put in there that I want to try. And I have some half a cup of dried cranberries that's going to go into this mixture. And I'm still stirring, getting everybody mixed in there. I have no idea if that's going to be too many, too little, or whatever, but... I figured it was a good place to start, and this is an experiment. Wow, what the heck, huh? Still trying to break up a little bit of that nubby stuff in there in the corn muffin mix and get everybody happily mixed in. I'd say this experiment is about ready to put in the bowl in the can here. So Set that right there, and we'll try to get it all into this uh, five by nine pan, which probably is a little large for this small batch, but we'll see. So, alrighty now, he says. I mixed good to the very last drop. All right, so we get this out of the way. A little bit of a shake here. And we'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees, as it says to do. And uh, let me see, check the time here. Cross-check against myself today. Alrighty. 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. Okay, timer. All right, we got it for 
for 15, I'll give it a check and uh, go from there. So Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out. Well, Lloyd Dussault Sr. back on my Tuesday experiment. It took 20 minutes in the microwave. Why don't I clear that while I'm right here? All right, and know what you can see here, but that's what it looks like. I gave it the test. It seems to come out pretty good. Let's see. I'm hoping that this is going to drop. Ooh, maybe it did. Oh, I lost a little piece in the center. But that's all right. It fit right back in there. <laughs> and flip it over. I'm going to let it set for a while, cool down a little bit. Before I cut it up and uh, test it out, but it looks good anyway. We will find out shortly after it's cooled down a mite and I slice it up. I'm going to have my lunch and then I'm going to have a piece of this for dessert. And I'll let you know what my biased opinion is. Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out. Well, Lloyd Dussault Sr., I'm back. Uh, I've had my lunch. I'm going to cut a piece off the end of this. Hopefully cook creation. We'll we'll find out. Well, looky there, will you? Yes. Hmm. Not half bad. I'll see if I can't convince my daughter to try some to find out what she thinks so. And uh, I'll check back in perhaps, but so far, tastes good to me. Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out. Well, Lloyd Dussault Sr., this is the epilogue, I guess you'd call it. This is what's left. It won't last long, but we're going to cover it up. Uh, I gave the, oh, almost half of it to my daughter and to her friend to try out, and, uh, they texted, my daughter texted me back, said uh, that it was good, so it would be all right to post as one of my uh, recipes. So it will survive and not end up on the cutting room floor. And I hope everybody uh, that tries it enjoys it. And you can uh, adjust this recipe. I'm sure there are other things you could drop in there in the cornbread that would uh, enhance it. So Lloyd Dussault Sr., Checking out and hope you give it a try and hope you enjoy it.